Hi guys, I want to show you very quickly how easy it is to use Anchor FM to create a, an episode for your podcast. So what you need to have before this specific uh, demonstration is you need to have an audio file that you've recorded either speaking or speaking to a guest. If you're speaking with a guest, um, you can use Zoom. Even free version can save you an audio file. So that's all you have, right? And you might want to choose to have a little intro and outro and purchase uh, music tracks for that, you know. So that's just the simplest way to approach this. And here in this specific video, I'm going to show you how easy it is when you have your own, um, these three files, how easy it is to create the episode. So let me just very quickly uh, go into episode new... Um, create an episode. I actually recorded the files. So there is an option to record here. I can literally, you know, talk into my, my microphone. Uh, and there is also a library of everything that you've used before. And as you can see, there is actually a file I've already uploaded here, right? And this is the file I'm going to be using for my main part. So what I need to do is I need to uh, first add my intro and outro and they kind of you know you can't keep them pin them to the top so you definitely need to make sure that you have some sort of like keywords in the names of those files here so welcome and then thank you is my outro oh thank you but it's there in the library right thank you for listening okay perfect okay that's the one i need okay Awesome. And now I can click on this button browse, browse and I can navigate to the file that is on my computer. I think I already uploaded it, but that's okay. Just to show you. And what I just did is I literally see when you click on these dots, you can drag the order. So now I have the intro with welcome. Then I have the actual... Um, podcast episode that I've recorded and then there is an outro and all I have to do now is sit and wait until you know it uploads and processes the file and then I can preview if I want to I can preview an episode and it will play three segments in a row you can always preview a, a segment on its own just to make sure it's the right one um, so this is something that we're going to do meanwhile while I'm sitting here I'm just going to delete this old Actually, no, I can't because it's used in the old episode. So that's okay. So it's processing now. I'm going to pause it and then I'll come back to you when it's done. So now I can see that it's, it's no longer says processing. It's, it gives me the date when I uploaded it. So I'm going to click on this pencil here and that allows me to fix the name. So when in, especially in Anchor FM uh, player and it could be on the other players as well. I'm not even sure, but they actually show the names of the segments. So I recommend not to call these segments just intro, you know, some sort of like audio one, two, three, four, five, and then outro actually create the a good names for them so when somebody is is listening they can glance and there will be this name so they know um what what they're listening to you know even like this um i'm going to say with visibility strategist juliet stapleton okay so now i have it i'm going to click on save changes so simple so so simple and now all i have to do is just you know create the title so i'm actually call it online launches with human design okay and here I'm going to add a couple of links and I can go on back and, and edit the uh, name. So what I'm looking for here in my, I'm looking for a couple of links that I want to add. So one of them is the link to the article I wrote on Influensive. So um, how to survive. Actually, I might even have it somewhere and copy and paste. 
launches with design read on influencive And then another thing I want to add here is just my marketing blueprint by design. Always bring somewhere oh, order. So always bring them somewhere where, you know, they can enter some of your programs, right? And if I just search, there is the link. Okay. Okay, so why I want this? Because after I publish this episode, this is going to go to Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, even Amazon Podcast. Like I've submitted it to so many podcast platforms. You only need to, only ever need to submit it once, right? But I have done this. So the moment it goes there and gets published there, these links are also there. That is really, really handy, right? And a very smart thing I do here is I use this link shortener and redirection. So I have my own custom domain for this short links, but actually it's bringing me to the influencer article and it's going to have a little pop up that will also upsell this marketing blueprint by design. So, you know, the, and, and I mention it on the episode as well. Okay. I have the title. I have the episode publish date. I can choose not to publish it today. You know, maybe I will want to publish this episode, maybe next Monday. I already recorded. I was on the for on the roll. I already recorded a few episodes this week. And then, if you want, if you have custom uh, uh, graphics that for each episode, I'm kind of considering to actually adding this in big letters, like the name of the episode. Um, then you can just upload it here by clicking on this button, upload new episode art. If you don't do that, then just your podcast epi- uh, podcast general graphic will be used, right? And that's all. You don't need to fill the season number, episode number. It's not showing anywhere. So you don't, you can add, um, you know, Q&A if you have kind of interesting Q&A, but it's only available on Spotify. I personally don't bother with that because it's not about me uh, targeting Spotify listeners. It's about whoever comes into my world and discovering I have a podcast going there and binging or they're on my email list and I send them a link to my podcast. They're going there and binging and they want to, to find out more. So that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to just click, click schedule episode. You can see, you can also save as draft. If you're not ready to schedule, you need to go and, you know, create your graphic or anything. Um, it says episode published, but it isn't, it actually is just scheduled, right? So if we go into episodes, it'll actually show you that it's scheduled for such and such date. And so here you can view episode details and then delete it if you want. And that's all it takes to produce and publish after you've recorded your podcast episode. There is no way you can say that it takes too much time or too much effort. And I was also talking a lot. If I wasn't talking during this whole time, it would probably take five minutes less, right? So go do it.